Hi everyone, I am Chris Alexandria with Angel Chatter. Now for those of you that have been following me for a bit, know that I have my own set of Oracle cards, the Angel Chatter Oracle card deck. There are 44 cards in the deck and 14 angels. Now I never sat down to officially channel a deck and guidebook, but that is in essence what happened because I wrote it in two weeks. And then about a year later, I was given these symbols for each of the 14 angels within the deck. Now many of you have asked me what the symbols mean and how can I use them, etc. So this is hopefully what this video will convey and help empower you a bit more. So the angel said it was time to take things back to basics, time for things to be a bit easier on us because you know, as you know, we like to make things very, very difficult. And the symbols all have three things in common. So I drew Michael's symbol here. It starts at the circle, it ends at the line, and it can be drawn in one motion. And every symbol within my deck does have this feature. So very clean, very simple. In fact, here is Michael's symbol on the actual card. So if you have my deck, play with them. See how they resonate with you. They are angelic language. Now, I am not saying these are the only symbols given to us that will connect with, for example, Michael. So if you think about our verbal language, we have English, obviously. We have French, we have Spanish, we have Japanese. We have all sorts of languages to convey our meanings. This is just one of many angelic languages, but they do have power. They will help strengthen your connection with that particular angel. Michael, as an example, many of my clients will take his card or they'll draw his symbol and put it on their nightstand if they're having bad dreams to help cut it away. They'll put it within their home if they're feeling a little threatened by lower energies that they don't want to be dealing with. So there are a variety of ways to use these symbols, which is why they're scattered about my product line on medallions, they're on the labels for our candles, our sacred misters, our roll-ons, and certainly on our sun drops. It's all about bringing that angelic energy within your space and helping to inspire and empower you a bit more. So if you're using the symbols, I would love to hear how you are and email me or pop a message down here below the video and I look forward to hearing from you. I am Chris Alexandria with Angel Chatter. Bye for now.